Well, he's a two-time Emmy nominee, pop culture genius, and yeah. new dad. Comedian Michael Yo describes himself as a hat flap brother with a Korean mother. Did I say that right? Yeah, you did. <laughs> it was good. It was good. Half black brother with a <laughs> Korean mother. Yeah. He also released a new comedy special called Belasian. And this weekend, you can see Michael Yo at Comedy Works <laughs> Landmark. I'm so happy to welcome you to the Coco Cactus Thank Point. you so much. I'm so happy to be here. I'm giddy because I'm a big fan of yours. I'm a big fan of yours. Oh, yeah. gee, you just said that. <laughs> OK, well. Welcome to Denver. Thank you. Have you been here before? Oh yeah, this is my third time here. I usually do downtown. Oh. So this is uh, one of the first times I'm, I'm doing the South location, so I'm so excited about it. So nice. I, I love it. Uh, Denver and my wife's brother lives here, so the whole family came down. My oh, wife, my son. And you son. got a new, oh, your new son. My son Congratulations. My, my only son, he is new. <laughs> He's, he turns two in March. And, oh, oh, he's nice. amazing, and I love family. So you're going to take them out on the ski hill? Oh, no, 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 we don't ski. Oh. I don't ski oh. because I, I don't want to hurt myself. Yeah. And I got mad last time I skied because a four-year-old <laughs> kid just zoomed past me, and I was like, you know what, forget this. I'm too old to learn how to ski, and I, I'll break every bone in my you body. You know, that happened to me over this weekend. I was skiing down the yeah. hill, and it was like the bunny hill or like the easy one, and this little kid just came and like yeah. took me out. You want to trip him. I want to trip a little kid like that that's flying past me on yeah. the bunny hill. It makes me upset, people. That's what I'm saying. But we love our children on Yes, Coco. we do. We do. I love my son. I love my son. <laughs> All right. So talk about your new comedy special, Belasian. What so is my, that about? So my new comedy special, <laughs> it's basically everybody, no matter what color you are, you've always felt like you didn't fit in. And it talks about me growing up in Houston, my dad black, my mom Asian. But talking about crazy parents, everybody has a crazy parent at one time. And I talk about my family. You know, my wife is white, I'm black. We have a black, white, and Asian son. We gave birth to a panda. So I mean, it's a, <laughs> it's a thing where we, I, it's all family. And the thing when you come out to my special, or I mean, when you come out to the shows, no politics. It's all about family and love at my show. People are coming with their mom, like grandmas are bringing their daughters and their daughters are bringing their daughters. So it's a family show. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. Okay, speaking of family, yep. I saw you on Chelsea Handler's show. Love her. You were talking about that being a family. Chelsea Handler, there was other comedians. We mentioned TJ Miller. Um, Joe Coy. From Denver. Josh Wolf. Exactly. Fortune Feimster. So how, were, how was instrumental was that in shaping you? And did you feel like they were kind of mentors to you? Yes, they were mentors. Chelsea and especially Joe Coy has been mentors to me. Chelsea, what people don't understand, when her show was on, she was the American idol of comedy. If you went on her show, you literally could go anywhere on the country and sell out. Like wow. that show was that powerful at that time. I didn't even do comedy. And I started comedy and I started touring right away. And I was selling out places and I was like, wait a minute, I just start, that's how powerful she was. But once she believed in you, she's loyal and she will stick with you. And like I said, she got me into comedy and Joe Coy's kind of mentored me from there. And do you still keep in touch? I don't, not with Chelsea. Okay. Not with Chelsea, but with Joe every every yeah. day. Yeah, yeah. And he's a big hit. I have to give a shout out to my hometown, Winnipeg. Very large Filipino community oh, in, yeah. that, in that city. Joe Coy sold out two shows in a row in like less than two minutes or he something. He sold out, he sold 37,000 tickets in Hawaii. He's beat Mariah Carey, <laughs> beat every, like the dude's crushing it and I love him so yeah. much. He's like a brother to me. Cool, okay. What does Yo-Yo know know? Uh-oh, are we about <laughs> to find out? How much does Michael Yo know? Okay. I'm going to put you to, not to the test. Okay. Uh, but I know you have a radio show. Yep. Want to do a little plug there? Yeah, I got two serious XM radio shows. One on EW Radio, and I talk about pop culture for two hours. And then a top 40 radio show called It Hits One in Hollywood. So we play music and talk about okay. pop culture. Pop culture. So, Academy Awards. Yes. Who do you think was the biggest snub? Well, I mean, people are saying Bradley Cooper for director, but mm. it's his first time directing, so I don't think it's a snub. But I do think, as far as uh, Crazy Rich Asians, I love that. <laughs> and I'm half Asian, so I got to represent. But was the half black part of you proud that Black Panther got nominated? Yes, and my, I, like, I'm winning all the way around, people. Yeah. You know, I got Black Panther, I got Crazy Rich Asians, I love it, but I wish Crazy Rich Asians would have done uh, more at the Oscars. But I didn't expect it either. So mm -hmm. it, it was kind of that thing because I, I, I'm in the industry. Okay, so best picture, what's your pick? To me, I love Vice. Oh, yeah, good movie. Star is Born was great, Bohemian yeah. Rhapsody, but everybody's saying it's Roma. I have not seen Roma yet, so I can't make an educated guess on it. But Vice and Christian Bell were amazing. Is he your pick for best actor? Absolutely. Okay. If he doesn't win it, I, I, like Bradley Cooper was great, and I respect him so much. 
but Christian Bale was so good. You know, there's arguments on both sides. Some people say, well, he imitated someone, so it was easier. And then you can say, well, we didn't know what Jack was on uh, Star is Born, yeah. so Bradley Cooper made that character. Who knows? All right, well, we'll see if your predictions come to yeah. life. Thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you. Really appreciate it. We'll laugh with Michael Yo at Comedy Works Landmark this weekend. He has shows Friday and Saturday night at 7.15 and 9.45 p.m. Get tickets online at ComedyWorks.com or by calling 720 274-6800. Comedy Works is welcoming all government employees and their spouses to come and see a show for free. If you've been affected by the government shutdown, you can receive up to two free tickets. This offer is valid until the shutdown is over. You must call for reservations and present a government ID, badge, or proof of employment at the box office to claim your tickets. The number to call is 303-595-3637 3637 for any shows at Comedy Works downtown or 720-274-6800 for the landmark location. View a full list of shows at comedyworks.com slash pages slash G-E-S.